Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be trying to fix some hoverboards or one hoverboard. Let's just show you what we got here. I have two hoverboards. My car was uh, at the mechanic and had the air condition fixed and my mechanic um, he had bought two hoverboards. He bought this one first and then he bought this one on an auction or something like that and when he unpacked it they did not put in a power supply so he thought that he could use the power supply from the blue one over here and as he said it it gave out a lot of sparks when he did that and the plugs are exactly alike i'll just turn this one off there i have a hunch that maybe these two hoverboards are not alike inside so this one might be a very, very cheap Chinese version and this one might be a little bit better or something like that. The power supply here delivers 42 volts, 2 amps. So it might be the voltage that is totally wrong between the two hoverboards. So I'm gonna see if I can um, figure that out. I think I'm gonna take, it's the blue one works. It seems dangerous to get on and off, but once you're there, it's perfectly fine. Maybe this way. <laughs> Maybe not that way. You just saw that. And the black one doesn't do anything. Let's exchange places for the two. Like that. If I press that, nothing happens. Nothing at all. I'm not a hoverboard expert, but I'm gonna give it a go. So, I've put a blanket, this is kind of a dog blanket, underneath the hoverboard, and I'm gonna try and disassemble it. Deep. Hmm, that was easy. See what we got under the first cover here. We have we have some battery. Th those are actually 42 volts, so that part should actually be okay. Mm, and there is a motor assembly over here and some wire things. This is not the part where the plug is. That's over here, right there. So let's uh, continue taking this apart and see over there what's what might be going on there. Okay, loosened all the screws, I hope. Okay, I think I might even have found the error already. Why this hoverboard is not good. Um, this, this connector is really dutchy. I think it has lost a solder joint down there, so. This might be a very easy, fast fix, except if it has totally burned off the circuit on the uh, other side. So I, I think that's uh, that's probably the mistake here. Well, this connection came <coughs> right up, so that wasn't too good. So I think we need to um, need to figure out something. I might. I think I'm just gonna cut off the cables here and um, just solder it down there. I think that will be my fix. But it seems like there's a pin stuck right there. But it looks like there's only one pin in this connector. So it might have lost a pin that is somewhere down there. No pin in this one. And it's just missing a pin. I don't know if I have a connection like this sitting around somewhere. So I'm just gonna remove the connector and solder this on there uh, i do believe that it was meant to go on this way plus at the top apparently nothing is broken over here so i'm gonna take put this part 
uh, back together again. Um, how, the, how did that fit down there? Probably. Uh, okay. Something like that. And I'm gonna bring it down to the basement and solder this back on and hope for the best. I moved into the lab or down into the basement or what I should call this place and this little pin fell out of it so that's the other pin for this connector which well if I put this on I don't know if I have any super glue or I don't think I'm gonna bother I'm gonna put it directly down there I just took the connector off must admit I just pulled I will solder on these I don't think I need to do much and I have powered up the soldering iron over here in the corner, right there. So let's take that and we need some solder tin here. I hope that the, um, well, I'm not going to disconnect everything, uh, but the device is already off. So I'm going to Put a little solder on the down here. And I'm gonna heat up the other one and take out the pin that is in there. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, that seems easy. There, there is that. So now both of the pins are up. And I'm gonna put some solder on these pins. I think we need this to hold everything. A little bit of solder on both of those. Put in the top one. No, I think I'm gonna put in the bottom one first because that makes it easier to put on the top one afterwards. So I'm taking, putting in the the minus here. That's not as easy as it could be. I would like to get it down there and get a good connection on the other side as well. Maybe I need to put in one of these pins anyway. Just solder that on there really good. There. And sort of the minus one onto that. Okay, the minus is on there. I'll put on the plus here on the other lead. Now that is in there too. Get rid of this short circuit anything else we moved outside again and I have the power supply here I have a power lead 220 volts I'm gonna plug in power here uh, right there and I'm gonna plug in the power supply and see if everything goes yeah it blinks I don't know if it's supposed to blink. Hmm? There's power on the device at least. So I'll probably have to go figure out what this blue blinking is about. Okay, we moved down into the basement again and I just, well, I did a stupid mistake. Uh, I fixed these wires and that's not for the power supply. That's actually for the on off button but of course that needs to work as well and I've been playing with the power took this apart and found out that um, this problem this is probably okay when I plug it in it lights up blue I actually want to show you that when I plug in power it lights up blue and the power supply lights up red and that's because there's a total short circuit somewhere on the hoverboard I tried with some laboratory power supplies as well and they totally short circuit so uh, it's drawing way too much power uh, my th the first thought was that 
the batteries are so low that it can't handle it so uh, that's why i tried the with the laboratory power supplies but well they just short circuit and nothing good comes out of that so i'm a bit lost except i found something down here that might do something if we go down here on the board this capacitor can we see that i'll have to zoom in this capacitor up there that has let out the the smoke so i'm gonna try and take that out and maybe that is short-circuited and ruining everything for me okay that did not come out willingly um i was trying to get it out with this thing just holding on to it and pulling it and well it's definitely not good now so i'm gonna see if i have another one 220 microfarad uh, 35 volts I've been through my stash of capacitors and I do have a selection of 220 microfarad. Um, this one is the only one that can handle over 35 volts. This one is uh, 25 volts and one that is even bigger than the Chinese one that is in there, that's only 10 volts. The closest one I found, well, is this one it's 25 volts and it's huge so i'm gonna try and put this in and if it blows up that's um, just a shame but uh, i don't have anything to replace this it's not gonna fit on the board this is ridiculous i think that i think this might be over overrated a little bit okay i put it in it's dangling right there good so I'm going to be standing way over here behind it, together with you. Let's uh, there. Uh, we have the power supply and we have the clock. Well, here it goes. Let's see what happens. And just to, just to tell you something, I'm wearing protective glasses this time. So one, two, three, let's see what happens. Nothing out of the ordinary. Same shit. So it wasn't that capacitor. Damn. I am outside again. And for now, I'll probably have to give up on this. I used all of last night uh, watching YouTube videos. It seems there's a lot of issues with these hoverboards or balancing boards. They break for good wood. And these capacitors, this one is bad. It's a... Uh, rather bad i have ordered new ones in china but you know that might take a month or a month and a half and this one well it's not good having that hanging around there so i would have to exchange that too and there's a couple of transistor thingies down here those that one and that one and according to good youtube videos they very often become bad as well and I have to change that capacitor up here. That's uh, luckily that is the same size as that one that I changed. Oh, there we are. That one that I changed. So I ordered a bunch of these, but I'm gonna be putting it together again um, so that it's not a mess and just laying around and give it back to the dude who has it. I don't want it laying around here for a month and a half. And I might just play a little bit more with the blue one before I'm giving that one back. Unfortunately, not a good ending for this video. I was not able to fix it with the parts that I have. So I have to wait. So, but thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Maybe in a month and a half fixing this. But uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.